OK, so in the second match today in the Rugby League World Cup, Tonga were playing the Cook Islands. Uh, Tonga have been misfiring so far in the group stage. They haven't been fully fluent. Yes, they've won both their opening games. I expected them to win this game. They were favourites. And, um, yeah, they put a, a massive, massive scoreline on. They, they've won the game 92 points to 10. Uh, it was 52-0 at half-time. And they scored with the first set of the match with Daniel Tupo's try after just a minute of play. And you're thinking, OK, it's, they're going to steamroll completely. But then they lose focus. So I think they scored too quickly. And I think they were expecting to score off the first set of play. And then when the Cook Islands have their disallowed try for, for an offside following a knock-on on nine minutes from Paul Ulberg, the game was getting a bit scrappy and, and the Cook Islands were disrupting uh, Tonga. Um, they were going set for set, but it was scrappy, misplaced passes, uh, disjointed plays. You're thinking Tonga haven't quite ironed out those issues. Uh, Jason Tamalolo's uh, first try comes on 13 minutes, and that's just pure power from Tamalolo. He missed the first few games because of suspension. Um, and Kantoa converts his first of many conversions. And it's from 19 minutes through till half time that the Cook Islands barely touch the ball. Uh, they had seven sets in the first half in total. So let's reel off the tries because that's what it pretty much became. Uh, Tamalolo scores his second try in 19 minutes. Katoa converts. Tessie New, who had a hat trick, scored his first try on 20. First try on 22 minutes. Katoa converts. Will Pelissini, who had a, a hat trick plus a penalty try, so in theory he could have had four tries on 26 minutes. Uh, Katoa converts. Tessie New scores his second try on 29 minutes. Katoa converts the penalty try, rightly deserved. Um, lucky not to be a sin bin as well, a tackle without the ball. Uh, that was on 32 minutes. Katoa converted that. Lola Hia's first try on 35 minutes. Katoa converts that. And Kafusi's try dead on half time, capping off a pretty dominant uh, first half on 40 minutes. Katoa converts that one. Uh, Katoa himself, uh, the halfback, would score his try on 44 minutes just after half time. He converts his own try. Tessie New scores his hat-trick try on 49 minutes. And at this point, they're beating the scoreboard convincingly. Uh, they're beating the clock. Um, they're outscoring the timekeeper. Uh, so this is looking now like a, a cricket score. Um, then it becomes scrappy again. And are Tonga losing focus? Are they trying to, like, you know... They're looking at the scoreboard too much rather than just completing their sets and, 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 and doing what they're doing well, which is dominating the ruck, dominating the play, the ball, dominating the physicality. But the scoreboard starts to get away from them a little bit in a sense, and they're focusing too much on how many points they can score rather than just doing the basics. However, Lola Hia's try um, is fantastic. Uh, Amone makes the break. He is brought down. Um, Brilliant try saving tackle. Lola Hill is pretty quick out of dummy half. That's on 58 minutes. And again, then the scoreboard clicks into gear again. Uh, Will Penasini scores his second proper try on 61 minutes. Katoa converts that. Two points scores his second try on 64 minutes. Great bit of footwork there. Katoa converts that. And then finally, the Cook Islands get their first try. Stephen Masters' try. He carries four players defenders over the line with him he he keeps himself in the field of play which is fantastic considering that he's got four defenders on him that is on 69 minutes so there's a little bit of fight in the Cook Islands Penasini gets his hat trick on 74 minutes uh so the, now the scoring slow down a little bit uh, Katoa converts that Amone scores his try on 78 minutes and Katoa converts that and then Teorona scores his try and conversion on 80 minutes his last game as a professional rugby league player all from an intercept I don't know what Tonga are doing uh, that is a silly pass for Tessie New to give um, but it's a well taken intercept by Brad Takarangi who pops it up for Teorona to score his try and get the conversion on the stroke of full time so it finishes 92 points to 10 well I'm not surprised with Tonga winning the game I'm surprised by the scoreline, and I am surprised how the Cook Islands basically surrendered after around 19 minutes. The first two tries, OK, you could understand the Daniel Tupo first try. The, the disallowed try for an offside, I don't think that was a knock-on by the Cook Islands. I think that was a strip, and that the 
the, the Tongans have knocked that on. I think it was a fair pickup by Paul Ulberg. I have seen them given as play on and as a try. It's a 50-50 call. But I think that is the moment that wakes the Tongans up. They have not been fluid throughout this tournament. Yes, they win their opening two games, but they've been a bit stop-start. They haven't been at their best. And then suddenly... Tamalolo starts the ball rolling from 13 minutes onwards and it's just an avalanche that the Cook Islands, the Cook Islands surrendered. I was a bit disappointed with their lack of fight uh, for large periods of this game. They pretty much surrendered. Um, they gave up. Um, it was an outside chance that they could upset the Tongans. It didn't happen, uh, but they did. They did meekly surrender. But when you've got a team that is as stacked as this Tongan team, with players that could play for Australia and New Zealand, players that have played state of origin um, for Queensland and New South Wales in this side. Uh, it, it, yeah, the fact that they haven't quite clicked until this game uh, says that there's still some combination issues they've, they've got to work out. Um, but I think this this will give them a lot of confidence going through into the quarterfinals. Samoa play France, the winner takes all. The winner of that game will play the Tongans uh, in the quarterfinals. And we are looking forward to that game. It looks like a fantastic matchup. But I am very disappointed with the Cook Islands' meek surrender. I think they put a lot of energy in against uh, Papua New Guinea um, in the last game. And they were shell-shocked. They just didn't know how to respond. And they were blown off the field by a very motivated, very hungry Tongan team. They are here. This is a statement by the Tongans. So while England and Australia and New Zealand are the outstanding favourites, they've all had big big wins, um, Tonga have finally clicked. And, you know, whoever comes out of Samoa France is going to have a very tough challenge, I believe, in, in um, unsettling this Tongan side now. Now they've got a bit of confidence. Now they've got those combinations working well. They were making passing moves. They had no business making offloads pace, speed, power. So there we go. 92 points to 10. Um, fantastic win for Tonga. Cook Islands, meek surrender. Um, there was a period in that first half between Daniel Tupo's first try and Jason Tamalolo's first try where they were upsetting the rhythm, making it niggly, um, disrupting the Tongans, and then they just gave up. Uh, when things started to go wrong, they, they gave up. And while they get their two tries later on um, in the second half, uh, they had meekly surrendered initiative and... Um, and the Tongans took advantage and they were very very motivated they were very very hungry that I think they've been stung by some of the criticism of the Tongans and they put out uh, a marker to the rest of the tournament thank you very much for watching please place your thoughts in the comment section below and I will have some more content for you very very soon